But let, let's let's take an example, Sam, because yep. he's sitting here mocking us for believing that Jesus is the divine Son of God. Sam, uh, you, you you just you just uh, give me the yay or nay for each of these things according to the gospel. The God the Father affirmed Jesus as the Son. Absolutely yay. According to the gospel, the Holy Spirit affirms Jesus as the Son. Absolutely yay. According to the gospel, Jesus affirms himself as the Son. Absolutely yay. According to the gospel, the angel Gabriel affirms Jesus as the Son. Absolutely yay. I mean, According yeah. to the gospel, the prophet John the Baptist affirms Jesus as the Son. Absolutely yay. According to the gospel, Jesus' companions, his apostles, affirm him as the Son. Absolutely yay. According to the gospel, not only Jews, but Romans affirm him as the Son. Absolutely yay. According to the gospel, not only men, but also women affirm him as the divine Son. Absolutely yay. And according to the gospel, the only people who rejected him as the son still admitted that he called himself the son of God and they used this against Absolutely. him. Yay. And one and more can... thing, not only the angels, but even demons would scream when he approached yes, that, he is the, that he is the son of God. Absolutely, yeah. And I can just write a lot of verses for people to write down everything you said. I mean, that's up to you. I can do it. For example, when you said even his opponents, John 19, 7, right? Mm -hmm. They say that we have a law and by that law, he should die because he claimed to be the son of God. So that's the unbelieving Jews. And you find that also stated in Mark 14, 61 to 64, where the high priest adjures him by, by God. Are you the Christ, the son of the blessed one? I am. And you shall see the son of man seated at the right hand of power coming with the clouds of heaven. So yes to that. Now, Mark 1, 11, the Holy Spirit comes down. Mark 1, 11, the Holy Spirit comes down. Read verses 10 to 11 for the context. Mark 1, 10 to 11, Holy Spirit comes down in bodily shape and an audible voice from heaven says, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. John the Baptist, that's John 1, 32 to 33. The disciples, Matthew 14, 33. And then you go to Matthew 16, verse 16, when Peter says, you are the Christ, the son of the blessed. And Jesus says in verse 17, blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father in heaven. And about demons, Mark 3, 11, and Mark chapter 5, verses 1 to 6, read all the way to 10. And as well, when you said the centurion, Mark 15, 39, Matthew 27, 54. There you go. Okay, and so now... In case anyone was wondering, that's why we call him the Assyrian Encyclopedia. Okay, so Sam, th think about the Islamic, think about the Islamic reasoning here, because this, guys, this may be the dumbest thing in the history of humanity. Think about this reasoning. In the Bible, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, angels, prophets, apostles, men, women, Jews, Gentiles, even demons, everyone acknowledges <laughs> this yeah. guy is the Son, or at least that he claimed to be the Son. So everyone, it's complete universal testimony of everyone who's there at his time. Physical and, and spiritual, everyone says this guy's the son or that he's claiming to be the son. No one says, no, he's just claiming to be a, a mere human being, right? No one says that, right? Then many centuries go by and, and then an illiterate seventh century aspiring caravan robber who likes little girls and old ladies, <laughs> didn't discriminate. Yeah. Yeah. He comes along and says, what? If God had a son, that would mean that he had a wife and, and was humping his wife. That doesn't make any sense to my, my 7th century Arabian mind, so it's all nonsense. And then Muslims actually say, you know what? Let's throw out the testimony of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, angels, prophets, everyone who knew Jesus. Let's throw out all of that for this guy who liked little girls and couldn't even figure out what anyone is saying because he was too dumb to figure out what we were saying. Let's just believe everything he says and we throw out literally all the testimony of everyone in the first century. We'll throw all that out for this guy when this guy affirms those scriptures that say all of that. Mm. This guy that we're going to believe in says in the Quran, Surah 5, verse 47, he says it is God revealed to him that Christians have to run, have to judge by the gospel and that Christians have no ground to stand upon unless they stand upon the gospel. And we know the gospel that Christians had in the 7th century. What does it say? It says everything we just pointed out from the gospel. And Muslims will still say we're, we're still going to mindlessly believe in him and his contradictions and, and in the fact that he goes against everyone, including God and angels and prophets. We're going to go, we're going to ignore all of that and just believe him. Sam, if that is not absolute idolatry, I do not know what is.